the needs have changed. The only needs that have changed is the, is the use of the dealing with all the technical aspects. There's too much of a reliance on them now, so people have to learn how to work with it and not immerse themselves in something like PowerPoint, which is obnoxious for an audience. Basic needs are there. The basic needs of communication have not changed. But, but by and large, the basic needs to communicate, to care about an audience, to put yourself in an audience's shoes, to not be so self-obsessed that you're only thinking about yourself, uh, that hasn't changed. That's the basic. To have a voice that doesn't drive people crazy, to be able to listen to what people are saying and asking, and to rehearse. All of that is still there. It, it's, it's not changed. In the very early days of my business, someone introduced me to a firm who said, oh, we can use her for a big conference out in San Francisco at the Fairmount Hotel. She can be on our roster. I had never done anything like this before. I didn't know that much about the financial industry at that time. They put me in the wrong slot. They gave me too much time. They, uh, the sound man, and, and this is a true story, sound man, I had a scarf, didn't like the mic placed to the side, so he put the thing on the silk scarf. They would not put me on the stage. They had me on level with 250 people in the audience. And add to all of that that before I left, someone had said to me, if you make it there, you've got it made. I did not have the wherewithal to know that I should have demanded the scarf that might go where it went. I did not have the wherewithal to uh, to get myself on a raised platform and demand it. I did not have the wherewithal to realize that the content they gave me was not right for the audience, which it wasn't, by the way. And on and on and on. And it was a disaster in front of 250 marketers of the financial industry. A total, complete disaster. The scarf, by the way, because it was silk with the mic, kept slipping down and I did not know it. I mean, I, I can keep going with all the things. I had someone who literally walked out in the middle, in the front row, and just left. I, I had a heckler who got up and argued with me the whole time. It was, it was beyond awful. I didn't even tell the story for years because I, I just couldn't get it out. I was so ashamed. A few months later, I had to speak at a different organization but with a lot of the same people and I had given the woman who had hired me for the second one the chance to cancel because she had been in this first one's audience and she said we have it printed on the thing so you'll come anyway and I'm going oh my god. Um, the night before I get there and some woman comes up to me and says oh I saw you at and I can't wait to see you pull those arrows out again. And I went up to my room, I called every friend I had to get me through the night. I went down the next day, I did all the things right. I made sure there was a platform, I made sure the mic was in the right place, I, you know, I, I had the content down pat, I did it right. And I got most, you could trace almost all my financial clients from that second one. You can come back. You know, it takes work, but you can come back from disasters, you just have to keep at it. You just have to keep at it. That's the only thing I could tell anybody.